So today we'll see how we can make use of linked state mixing and value link property. These are basically add-ons and they are accessible when you have the react with add-ons script and these are basically used for two-way data binding. So basically in a react application it's very common for a component to contain state that should be editable by a child component. The most basic example uses a text input with a value and on change handler to display and update the text. So over here we can have a sample component let's call it form and as you can see over here inside the render function we have a input element and there is a text state basically and with changes on on change so we have handle change event coming up over here and whatever value is placed inside this value is basically updated by set state method. Now if we have multiple text boxes like we have in our review form if you notice here we had a couple of text boxes and all we were doing is associating different change events. Now doing this repeatedly that is over and over especially in a component with a lot of controlled inputs can get repetitive. Now the react add-ons that we have when we make use of this particular script provide the linked state mixin to simplify situations where an input should remain in lockstep with a given piece of state. So if we have to do the same example using linked state mixin then all we need to do is this. So here you can make note of mixins and we are making use of linked state mixin which is then having the get initial and rest every other thing that we had is there. The only difference you will notice is that there is no handle change event because because that is automatically provided by linked state mixin and as you can see there is no on change event associated over here. All we are doing is making use of value link property and then instead of this dot state we are making use of link state and then the text is associated in this value link. So let's check it out first with the old sample and then we'll come to this one and see whether it works the same way or not. So I'm saving this one over here. Let's render it. So we'll say react dot render and then we'll have the element over here. So we'll say form and then document dot get element by id inside that we'll have the id of the container div container over here and then terminated by semicolon save this and let's run it over here so we'll say to it data binding html launch in browser and let's print the state over here so we'll say this dot state dot text that we have over here text saving it refreshing this page now entering a value over here i think we are trying to return a couple of things from here inside the render function so we, what we'll do is we'll have one div associated here and that div will be containing the whole input and this state so now if i rerun this one you can notice that as soon as i'm typing it out the state is getting updated on change event and showing the updated value. Now let's do the same thing but now we'll make use of the linked state mix in and value link. So let's come in the top portion here. We'll come in this one and we'll have this enabled and this one will be then taken from here. Now if I run this one here also I'll make the same changes. So we'll have a div and this will be inside a div element after that we'll have the value displayed over here by making use of this dot state dot text so now if i run this it should behave exactly the same way refreshing it now so here you can see the text box coming up now if i write skill bakery you see the same kind of effect is there but with lesser lines of code and that's the beauty of link state mixin and value link. So when we make use of link state mixin and value link, the input and the text state will remain synchronized. Changing the state via set state will update the input and changing the input will automatically call set state updating the text key.
So whenever we say this dot link state and a react link object, you must have noticed that inside the value link, we are making use of this link this dot link state now this is a function provided to our component by linked state mixin and what exactly it returns is it returns a very simple object created by react's react link module and what it does is it just has the value that is the current value of this dot state key key is basically text over here that is what we have in our form so state is text so that's the key basically and then it has a request change function which gets called whenever there is a change happening so function to call update this dot state key and that function basically request change function is responsible for updating the state key it looks something like this this is the object that is being returned by this link state now the value property contains the current value of this dot state dot key and the request change property is a function we can call with a new value for this dot state key to update it so if we have to write the same example using these objects it will be something like this here inside the render function you can see that the link state text is actually returning the value link and then we have the handle change function which is then making use of the request change function as shown over here request change is the function which is returned by this dot link state function so all we are doing is we are making use of that function to update the state and even dot target dot value is basically containing the updated value of the key so here whenever on change handle change event occurs this gets called and it will then internally call value link dot request change which is going to update the state key so that was just to explain the intricacies of linked state mixin and value link and this way we do two-way data mining in react.js